Hey everybody, this is Terry Rice at Foundry, and let's have a quick look at relative paths inside of Nuke Studio and in Hero. Now if we select a clip in our timeline and take a look at its properties, we can see that we have an absolute path to where the footage lives. Now what we can do is we can go under Edit, Preferences, and under General, there is a section for Project Directory. So we can add an absolute path in there, and because it's under our global preferences, this means that moving forward in any new project we create, it's going to use that absolute path. Now we have the option to select the HROX directory button and what this will do is auto populate this section with Python and what this is telling us is that wherever we save this project that we're working on that is going to be considered the root or the project directory. So I'm going to cancel out of this because we can do the same thing on a project basis. I can go under project, edit settings and then select the same thing. Now from here when we save this project file, I'm just going to save it right here save. This is now considered the project root. So now on disk what this means is that if we look at where we just saved this, this is the project directory and inside of here is where that footage resides. So now what we want to do is tell our actual clip properties uh, to change paths. So instead of using the actual absolute path, I'm going to pull it all the way back and add a period. And with that, the footage is still online. And just to test, if I was to put, say, a secondary period, it's going to go offline. I'll remove that and put a single period. So if we look at this in context, we have our actual save path. And then we're telling it with that period to navigate down a folder from the project directory. And then the rest of the path, animatics, and the name of the shot. Now what happens if our project directory or our save file is located in a subfolder? So if we look on disk, we have our shot, like, just like before, but now our save file is in another subfolder called project. Well, in this case, we want to tell it to navigate up a folder and then go in. So what we're going to do is go up to the same point, except this time we're going to replace it with two periods and then hit enter. So now the media is still online and we have it working by navigating up a folder and then going into the next. So we can use as many periods and forward slashes as needed to navigate through our file structure on disk.